Thank you very much for clicking this video. Frontend developer makes lots of mistakes related to HTML and as a developer you should not do same mistake. Recently I published a crash course about HTML and I think now it's a high time to create a video about this. If you missed that video I highly recommend you to watch that. You will have the link in the description as well as in the top right corner. So let's begin. Number one. Don't place a block element into an inline element. You already know all heading tag like h1, h2, h3 as well as paragraph tags deep section they are all block element and span strong image they are inline element so if you want to use a h1 inside a span in that case it's a bad approach so in that case you should use span inside a h1 tag that's the good approach what do you think about this video let me know in the comment section number two not writing alt attribute most of the time developers forget to use alt attribute on image alt attribute is highly important for search engine optimization also if any reason your image failed to load in that case your user will know why the image exists like if you want to add a logo on your project in that case you can write alt that it's a logo so user will know that it's a logo and same way if you use alt attribute properly your image will rank on search engine properly number three not closing tags we all know html is all about tags we have two types of tag in html one of them is those that we have to close and another we don't need to but don't forget to close if it have a closing tag like if you use h1 don't forget to use h1 closing tag if you use p in that case don't forget to use closing p tag but it's very important when you want to use section div in that case if you forget to add a closing tag your website may broke so always careful when you want to write html you cannot skip or you should not skip closing tag Number four, don't use BR tag to create a list. Suppose you want to have a list and if you use BR for the list in that case, it's a wrong approach. Instead of that, you can use UL or OL. UL for unordered list, OL for ordered list. So if you want to have a list, you should use UL or OL for creating the list. That's the good approach. Do you think this video is helpful? If you think this video is helpful, don't forget to click the like button. Number five, Avoid inline style. We already know you can use CSS on your HTML3 way, inline way, internal way, as well as external way. But highly recommended way is external way, but sometime we might need to use internal way. But it's highly recommended that you should avoid inline CSS because if you do in that case your HTML will not look good if you want to control your HTML from backend in that case it's a bit complicated. So always try to avoid inline CSS. Number six avoid HTML border. When you want to work iframe or also video audio tag in that case most of the developer use border in the HTML but if you interested to use border you should do that using CSS not in HTML. Also, if you use HTML border, in that case, your total project will not pass by W3C validation. We already know when you want to write code, your code should be valid to W3C. So if you use HTML border, in that case, your project will not valid by W3C validation. So I highly recommend you to avoid HTML border. Number seven, missing doc type. Doc type is very important and when you declare doc type on your HTML, in that case it says that what type of HTML you are using. It may be HTML5, it may be XHTML or HTML version 4 or whatever it is. So I highly recommend you to use doc type. Recently in Firefox, they failed to render Google font font awesome. The reason because missing doc type and after a update, they fixed that but it can happen anytime so when you want to create a project i highly recommend you to declare doc type in that case your project will work perfectly i think this video is helpful for you if you think this video is helpful for you don't forget to click the like button and if you think this video is not helpful for you click the dislike button and let me know why you don't like this if you still not subscribed my channel please click the subscribe button and click the bell button next to the subscribe button so when i will publish a video you will notified thanks for watching have a good day and stay safe i am ali hossain signing out